We're here today in the Keywall Valley, North East Victoria. We're on a beautiful property to do a cool seasoned burn led by Uncle Rod Mason, a traditional fire knowledge holder. The aim of today is to learn from Uncle Rod about how the traditional practice of burning the landscape in the cool season can benefit biodiversity and also reduce fuel loads. This cool season burning workshop is part of the Woodlands and Wetlands Project, funded through the North East CMA and supported by the Australian Government's National Land Care Program. The CMA's current involvement is coordinating a small trial burn. So that we've got four landholders doing cool season burning trials and we've got a consultant monitoring those trials. And then once a year we get people together, you know, to talk and share knowledge on fire and how we can use fire in these grassy landscapes. We've had lots of partners involved as well some local traditional owners and also local CFA and local landholders. There's been lots of passionate people involved in, in the fire project and the traditional fire project over many years. Um, and I really appreciate everybody coming along today and all the TOs. Um, it's, really, it's really special to come and get together and, and learn, so thank you. I want to share my information and knowledge and skills with you today. As, uh, it's about time we all come together with different interests and, and uh, update our skills. It's healthy. Yeah, so all together, we've got to do this all as mum and gun, countrymen. So we're all countrymen, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, not strangers when we look after the country. So we've all got to look after each other now, you know. And let's do it all together, right? Eh? And stop these big wildfires coming through and cooking the place, you know, because nothing will come back. Tree maintenance, very important. Yeah, so that there's rubbish. Some people might say, oh, poor little lizards and all this stuff. Well, we're going to bring thickets back for them lizards and small birds. Not this. Aboriginal time just be all put on the campfire. So your bigger logs, you'd leave them? Yeah, big ones. That. Well, they're little safe havens, yeah. But just watch out, just don't burn out. You know, put them out after the... Because we sort of get told now, if it's like the bigger logs, stay away yeah, from them. Yeah, leave them, yeah. Go around them if you can. Habitat logs, so. Yeah. And good to keep the... Tree density a bit more open? Yes. So we need that wind corridors to go through the trees, bring them back in. When the wind hits the thick scrub, they get corridors like a hand, like fingers on a hand, you know. Here's the wildfire here. Well, it's not going to go woof. If we close that hand, it's, what's it going to do? Bang. But if we open them corridors, yeah, one will be lesser than the other. Slows it down. Slows it down, yeah. All of this can be... Do okay. it as you like. So the wind's blowing that way, that's good, it's not blowing near the road. You always find a marker, so a tree, tree to tree, and do it in sections at a time. Not all at once. You want it up to this tree? It can go up to that tree, yeah. All right, so the wind's going to tell us a lot. Mark him up. So we all stand in a line, okay, and then we work back. So don't go back more than a metre, okay? So it's about two foot back and spot burn. Back like this, okay? Yep. Line up that way, yeah. So fire stick, make a fire stick up as easy. Little fire stick, see? Yep. All right, spot burn. So have a go with it. So we'll have a whacker. Someone can whack that out. And that's our line. And you don't let him go beyond that now, so put your whacker there, bro. So work back now, start burning back. So remember, the further back we move, the higher the flame's going to be. So spot burn, and the wind will join the dots for us. So we go back downhill now. All right, so get our pattern going. So build your confidence up, have a go, you know, and just, that's it, whack him out. So work backwards, not too far apart. I really think we need to learn about how Indigenous people manage this land for thousands of years. And, you know, we have terrible wildfires and there's, there's a lot to be learned and it's very, very relevant for, for now. We've had so many bad fires and yes, we do reduction burns, but I think that's only part of the way. Part of Barrandu Land Care. Oh, I've got a small property. I've had a go at burning it a few times, some kangaroo grass the last time. It got away on me. It took a couple of years off my life. I'm not 
ever doing it again without assistance and better knowledge and understanding of how to do it safely. Uh, Captain of local fire brigade, obviously interested in uh, fuel management, um, fuel reduction. We've also done a couple of our own burns and it was a high area of weed. We've gone back and had a look now and it's all kangaroo grass so we've seen the benefit of some burns so mm -hmm. just to get a bit more knowledge today would be really good. Well, I'm just mainly interested in seeing how a fire can uh, help generate native species. Just interested to see how it goes. I came to the last one here. Um, here to learn and here to better understand how Trust for Nature can I guess make a, a more traditional burning practice happen on country all over the state more often. I think I'm just interested in learning about uh, indigenous burning techniques and the benefits for biodiversity. I've got a, a little bit of land in Indigo Valley and really interested in uh, I guess traditional burning and ecological burning. My property got burnt at the end of 2015. A fire a day keeps bushfires away. Mm -hmm. Another TA, I haven't done a fire burning before. Oh, I lit a couple of fires but not controlled. <laughs> so I'm out here to learn from Uncle Rod today and hopefully pick up a bit of stuff. TOs and traditional owners of the area. I've been involved with this sort of stuff for quite a few years and I'm still learning. Like I said before, welcome from everyone. I'm Bridget. We're lucky enough to have permission to live here so welcome to everyone. This is part of a grassy box woodland project. This project's helped uh, local traditional owners connect with people like Uncle Rod and that's very important mm. because it's helping with that passing on of knowledge and sharing knowledge, traditional land management knowledge. So this is all part of wildfire suppression. You know that the charcoal between the ground won't be so intense on the ground. You've got the wildfire going across, the ground's going to be safe. You're not going to cook it. The main thing is to put the charcoal on the ground before it hits a little waterways, you know. Burn the salt out, it pumps after the rain. Because that's what makes this hard. Crack it open enough for something to breathe or something to germinate. So with the burn around rockeries, your ferns will come back. And the herberies, they'll be on the edge of the rockeries. Little tuffets, all that for grasshoppers and all them little critters on the ground. That's where they live. Grasshopper dropping, I reckon it's better than a worm dropping. And they come wrong quails, then come to us then. So if we get everything back in order, everything was missing from this place. All the pigeons back again, they were a favourite food for Aboriginal people. Yeah. So with kangaroo grass, how long, or native grasses, how, how much is too often to burn? Well when you see it die, that'd be best time to yeah. turn it into charcoal, and you'll see the green in there, let it come back, and when it dies again, so... So every couple of years is good, or? Well, or a bit more than that. Usually when you see the dead stuff there, you do your own profile, yeah, and you work from that then. You say, well, we might try it a month or later, or yeah. because all vegetation, all slopes, all different, you know. Yeah. You might want to do it four times, three times a year or whatever, but uh, all the dead stuff will tell you. So when the burns are done around the base of the smaller trees, what brings them up straight again? What is it? Ah, uh, well, it's the root, the, you scorch the root. Yeah. Oh, not, not cook it, but scorch it, and that tree, the root, just the rest of the tree grows straight, you know? Yeah. You know how you were talking about the ground being so hard? Yeah. Is that what's causing the that's, die off uh, uh, That's what's killing them trees, is their stress, see? So the ground's not open, they're not breathing. Mm. You've got to open the ground and let them breathe. Get the shrubs under these trees again. They'll keep the ground open from the breathing, you'll have healthy trees. So there's no shrubs, there's no water. There should be wattles underneath here, there's not. Burn in the same spot. Every year, you probably don't have to do it every year. Oh, not every year, you just yeah. rotate. Yeah. So just look, mosaic here, there, yeah, just patch yeah. here and, yeah. and then expand out. Yeah. So that's called a line burn, you fellas. You see how we've done the spot burn earlier? Yeah. This is a line burn, now the wind joined the dots together, and it's a line burn. Yeah. Now after this is all burnt down, it's going to be mosaic burn. So be, you go somewhere else and do another one somewhere else. This mosaic pattern, see? So three burns in one we've done today. It's going from spot burn, line burn, to mosaic, see? So just get confidence there, you, you know? Yeah. Don't be scared of fire, it's our law, it's a law, you know? Yeah. How's it looking? Looking good. Hey, hey? much better than I thought it would. It's nice and dry. Who'd have thought? Yeah, well, our friend the wind, see? I know. It's yeah. like it's just starting now when yeah. you started burning.
and it'll swing around the ladder so it'll be safer down there when yep. we move back. Yeah, so. Very happy. A little practice room, that's good to see them all practice when they get I think they're enjoying it. Yeah, they'll remind each other too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You've already done this, see, so you've got the idea of, oh, you know. Learn, well, that's right. Look, we all so, still, like these little spindly numbers here. They'll straighten up in their adulthood. But you've got to keep it up and going, you know. So all the danger area is burnt now, see, so. Yeah. You burn back in, it's not going to. I love, I, lo I, feel, I feel, always feel much more secure when that's done. Yes. Yeah. Right, now I can mm -hmm. Sit and relax a little bit more. Just, you know, it's such a nice way of getting out it's and healthy. enjoying it's the healthy. country. It's healthy, you know. You're just out and it's just an excuse to be outside and see the birds. And well, our people, we look forward to every three months. Yeah. And we all jump in the trucks in the whole country. It's a big community event. Yep. All jump in the Toyotas, kids on the roof. You know, and the dogs in the back and the old grannies in the front telling everyone where to go, what to do, and oh dear. Yeah, and when we get out on the homelands, all the children and all the old people sit back and make the feed, and yeah. all the children and the teenagers and all get out there and do this all together. To community, yeah. yeah. It is, it's lovely. It's so beautiful. that's why I said we're doing this as community too. It's great having people, you know, so many different interested people here. Yeah. Thank you. Very special. This is how we do it, and we should always consider it, you know? Mm. Mm. Oh, that's going beautifully. That sound. Oh. It's singing to us, right? Oh, love it. Just love it. In the whole country, we burn in the night, and it's, oh, it's a beautiful sight. Mm, you got all the stars oh, in the universe I up above, and you got this imagine. real long red line. Big, like a big snake, it is a big orange snake oh, going right across. Ooh, there's low cloud, see? That's good. But keep it down, see? See how it keeps the smoke now? It's not going down a bit. everywhere here. Yeah. That was a good one, see? Yeah. Never cooked the ground, see? We, yeah. See all the green, you see all the green underneath it? Yeah. Well, I'm proud of this one, this deadly one. The rain come down, wash it all down, settle it all down. Didn't take us long, eh? Look at half of them all burnt out, look at them, look. <laughs> this is healthy, you know, you can get the kids out, take your young fellas out with you and show them, yeah? That's what it's for, you know, it's community. So you don't too windy to do another bit? Do you want to go have a cuppa first? Though? Yeah, we'll have a cuppa. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch that wind first. So. Yeah, that's what I was just yeah. wondering. If McGregor and I were doing it now, I would say, no, we won't do more. Mm -hmm. But with everybody here, if you think yep. it's okay... We're all one countryman. Mamun gun. Mamun gun. <laughs>